How are y'all doing this afternoon? My name is Michael Johnston. I'm going to be your instructor for today on um, fire extinguishers. We're going to do a little refresher. I know most everybody in here is a uh, firefighter, so we're going to be going over a few things. Most everybody in here should know maybe just a few little topics that gets overlooked. But uh, like I said, my name is Michael Johnston. I work at the 186 Air Refueling Wing in Meridian, Mississippi, Key Field. Um, before there, I've worked here about a year. Uh, before that, I worked for Meridian Fire Department for about three years. And I thoroughly enjoyed both departments. Uh, but like I said, today we're going to be talking about the classification of fire extinguishers and understanding the numbers on the extinguishers. The letters indicate the class of fire which extinguishers can be used. Can anybody tell me the three types of fire? A, B, and C. That's right. A, B, and C. What would class A be? Wood, paper. Okay. What would be the name? Ordinary combustibles? Yes. That's right. Ordinary combustibles for class A. That would, like you said, contents. That would be your wood, your paper, your trash. Pretty much ordinary day-to-day -day stuff would be your class A. Uh, we also have class B and class C. Can anybody tell me what class B would be? Fuels. That's right. Fuels such as diesel, gasoline, kerosene, um, lighter fluid. There's quite a few flammable liquids out there. We also have C. Can anybody tell me what C is? Electrical. Electrical. That's exactly right. Such as wiring in your car, wiring in your house, anything that can be energized, elect, elect, uh, electricity. Okay. Class A fire extinguishers. The number is related to the amount of water. So that's the number on this fire extinguisher is 4A80BC. So Right here it says 1A rating contains equivalent of 1.25 gallons of water. 2A contains the equivalent of 2.5 gallons of water. And 4A contains approximately twice as much as a 2A. So this would be about the equivalent to 5 pounds of water. I mean 5 gallons of water. But this is in a 10 pound extinguisher. And five gallons of water would be around 40 pounds, so a whole lot easier to carry this from place to place than it would be 40 gallons of water. And just about anybody could carry one of these extinguishers around. Um, this, which, and also this extinguisher is pretty good extinguishers, like we were discussing a second ago. It's an A, B, and C extinguisher. This extinguisher can be found in just about any place of business, any store, any household, any car, this is what should be in there at least. That's 90% of extinguishers are ABC extinguishers. They, uh, because of their versatility and what all, what all they can accomplish. Anybody have any questions so far? Okay, we're going to go on to B. Class B fire extinguishers. The number is based on approximate square feet of a burning fuel that can be extinguished. A 10B rated would be 10 square feet of fire. So not a very big, real kind of small trash can fire, small, small stuff. A 40B would be 40 square foot of fire. That would be a little bit bigger. Maybe it's the trash can caught on fire and rolled out and something spilled and now it's traveling a little bit. But like I mentioned a second ago, this is a 80B. So, A, this, this is an 80B, so it's twice as much as a 40B. So this would be 80 square feet of fire. That would be 9 feet by 9 feet, which would be 81 feet. So essentially, this can put out 81 feet, square feet of fire, which would be kitchen table, your couch, your recliner, small room and contents. This is not a, not a, maybe a mattress, 
something along that nature. Not a you wouldn't use this going in a, a structure fire. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. This is not what this is for. It's more of a day to day in your car or just there in case of accident type um, extinguisher. Yes, question? So this would be really good to keep in my garage because I don't keep a lot of fuel in there, but the small amount I do keep in there, it would probably cover that fire, wouldn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, if you had a gasoline spill, say even if on your lawnmower in the yard, generally it's not gonna be, if you catch it before it gets out of hand, this would be a perfect, I mean, you 81 square feet, that's a pretty big little area that you can use this for. and. It's pretty versatile, like I said, it, it puts out double the amount of a 2A, so it's equivalent to, imagine five gallons of water spraying towards a fire, but this is a dry chem and it's a lot lighter and easier to use. It's a lot, lot more versatile. Okay, we're going to go into Class C extinguishers. What, what did we say Class C was? Electric. That's right, electrical. Class C extinguishers use agents that do not conduct electricity. So this would be good for like your car or, you know, I, I know a lot of people in here, and I know a lot of firemen, they like to work on their own stuff. They don't, you know, they don't like to get stuff done by other people. They like, usually there's somebody in the fire service that can help you do it. So that being said, if somebody helps you put a radio in your car and doesn't necessarily hook up the wire right, and you crank your car up in the, battery area the radio starts smoking this would be a good extinguisher to have around or have in the car um, it would do pretty well for that that situation or in your house if you put a light switch in and maybe everything wasn't up to code and light uh, a wire touched and sparked and something insulation or something caught it would be good as long as you got to it pretty quick but Anything out, outside of that would need to be assessed by the fire department or somebody else. Um, does anybody have any more questions? Any, anything else? So it would work great on a car battery then too. It would for a for a to a certain extent. It would it would work good for a, a car battery. Um, once the, I would say you try to get the power off of the battery as fast as possible. You want, as long as it's energized, it's still going to try to keep going. Um, let's see, backing, backing up. So, okay. That was, that was my presentation. I hope y'all had a great day. I hope everything, I hope I helped clear up a few things if possible. Um, y'all have a great day. Thank you.